YouTube. What's going on? So we're going to get right into this. Do women think sex works is real work? And this is not actually me giving this commentary. It's somebody else. And I'll get commentary on, commentary on that. Let's get it. Bop, bop. Do you consider sex work to be real work? Yes. Yeah. These girls responded without a second thought. The sex work is work sentiment is everywhere now. It's become the motto of the growing movement to fully decriminalize sex buying, pimping, and prostitution. They claim it enables women to do their job more safely while empowering women to make money however they want, which is great, right? Not quite. Let's look at some of the facts. 90% of people in prostitution say they want to escape it. Most women in prostitution are under the control of a pimp or a trafficker. The death rate of prostituted women is 240 times higher than that of the average population. And in countries where they fully decriminalize prostitution, sex trafficking has increased. And it's actually made prostitution even more dangerous because sex buyers feel that they can demand even riskier sex acts. One woman who is being sold under the full decrim model in New Zealand said, I thought legal prostitution would give more power and rights to the women, but I soon realized the opposite was true. The truth is the sex work is work narrative and the full decriminalization of prostitution is a trafficker's dream. But there are laws that fight trafficking and protect those in prostitution. You can learn more at the link in our bio. Prostitution, the oldest profession they call it. 90% of people who are in prostitution want to get out. I want y'all to hear that part again. Let's just hear this part right here. Prostitution say they want to escape back. 90% of people in prostitution say they want to escape it. Most women in prostitution are under the control of a pimp or a trafficker. The death rate of prostituted women is 240 times higher than that of the average population. I don't think you understand how astronomical that is. Even... 240 times the average of the population. This is what we've been trying to talk about. And I got to push this into this. This, this because, because when OnlyFans blew up, just another criminal enterprise, allegedly. Um, because, you know, there's been stories that have come out that says, allegedly, that uh, OnlyFans has pimps, OnlyFans has women that are forced, OnlyFans has minors, and all this kind of stuff. And women think that this is just a... Uh, Oh, just a freedom thing. Just You heard the statistic. 90% of women don't want to be in prostitution. And I believe that with OnlyFans. First of all, let's just talk about OnlyFans. Because we got the few that succeed and think it's empowering. Like, you have people like, what, Amaranth, I think, who does that? Um, who was it? Bella Dufine, right? China, when she was still doing it. And all these women who think that you just show your body on OnlyFans, you know... <laughs> You show your bodies on OnlyFans and do all this stuff that it really empowers you. Can somebody please just logically explain to me how OnlyFans can empower women when the whole thing is ran by men, pretty much. And the only reason there's money in it is because men are paying. These same men, right, that these OnlyFans models, you know, say that, oh, they're, they're broke. Oh, they're average. I can never be with an average dude or average money those are the same men that are, are that they're begging for money when they send them a little flick in uh the dms right because oh, i think when you do the when you do free only fans right you make money off the dms and when you do paid you put it on the page right these are the same women that will go into these dms and say uh can you do you do you want to see if, i'm not i can't really think, think of something like they would normally say maybe something like do you want to see more? $5 for this picture. Do you want to see more? Uh, uh, $20 for this picture. Or $20 for this video if you want to see it um, uncensored or whatever. Right? These are the same women that will beg for that same thing and then call average men nobodies. Chunks. In the vast majority of OnlyFans models, the average money made on OnlyFans. And I want to say this right quick. Just to go off on a little bit of a tangent. This is the same thing in every, almost everywhere you go when it comes to social media. The average person on any social media account does not make that much money if they're monetized. If you go to Twitch, the chances of you ever making money that can fund a family lifestyle is so rare. YouTube, rare. Instagram, rare. Twitter, now that it's monetized, rare. Okay, even Kick.com, as much as Kick is saying they got all these people on here, 
let's not be dumb. Only the top people are going to make money that will actually change their lives. The vast majority of us will never see it. Maybe right now, when it's got the split going, you're seeing more of it. But that number always will go from here, where we're all kind of close, to it, the gap gets bigger. Always does. How many of y'all going to get a $100 million contract? <laughs> None of us, right? Exactly. So when these OnlyFans models get on there and they think they're going to make all this money and they realize the average OnlyFans model makes $180 because just like in any part of society, there's the top and there's the bottom <laughs> and the middle people don't make much at all. It's just how it's always going to go. But we have been fed the lie that selling your body and prostitution is the way to make money. And that it's empowering to women when you are actually making money off the backs of men and not even just regular everyday men. You're making it off the sex addicted men because only men who are normally addicted to pornography, addicted to sex are going to be the ones that are willing to pay for it, willing to pay to see a girl do stuff. And those are the ones. And when you hear these stories, when these women come out and say they quit OnlyFans, one of the top reasons they normally do it is one if things get leaked. And the second one is that people get really aggressive and really, really um, rude and really stockish. Because you got to understand when you're an OnlyFans model or you're in prostitution, the types of people you're going to draw are the most people who are more, more than likely addicted. They are in the depths. They are in the darkness of addiction, especially sex addiction. And that's why these women are fear for their life. They want to get out of this life. They want to get out of prostitution. This lady just said that they commit and take their lives at a much higher rate, 240 times higher rate than the average population does. Why? Because you get the sickest people. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. You get the sickest people who want to touch all over you, who want to take advantage of you, who want you to do the most disgusting things. And here's one more thing. If you guys haven't heard this story, maybe we'll go over it a little bit more. Eventually, if it pops up again. But y'all remember the whole um, Dubai thing, right? With the Instagram models, right? You would get these guys. They would text these girls and be like, hey, I'll pay you $10,000 to come on here and let me pee on your face or let me. Um, do some defecating on you or something like that, right? And it was even to the point where they caught one woman who said she was willing to have relations with a minor for money, all to keep up this facade of this lifestyle. So you don't think that it's crazy that they, of course they want to commit and take their lives at a much higher rate. Because like I said, when you get put into this life, especially with these guys like this, even women, but more likely guys, you're going to get into this addiction. You're going to get into these people who have fallen so far. They're going to want you to do the most dirtiest, raunchiest, humiliating things that you've ever heard of. And they're going to take advantage, especially men who got money. They don't care about you. You think the men who got even more money are really going to be nicer? No, no, no. They're going to, they're going to pay you the money. You're going to shut up and do what they tell you to do. And if you decide to say no, things go south because these people want it that bad. If you're, all right, I'm going to shut up after this. Imagine you are a millionaire, right? You're willing to pay $20,000 for this one girl. You get her in there. You got the money. You, you, you're, you're ready to do the darkest, nastiest stuff ever because you know you got the money for it. And then the girl tells you, no, I don't want to do that. It's not going to go well because when you get an addict, just like when you get an addict who's a drug addict, when you get them to that point, that point where they can touch it, that point where they can feel it, they, they are in their mind creating this fantasy of what it's going to be. And then you tell them no at the top of that. It gets physical. It gets emotional. It gets mental. It gets bad. It gets real bad. I'm tired of having this argument of sex is empowering to women when they sell their bodies. We all know that's just a flat out lie. And I, I find it so sad these days that women who fought for all this stuff, who wanted to be nurses, who wanted to be CEOs, or they wanted to be the manager at their McDonald's, they just wanted to have a place where they could work and build their own life. Whether they want to be a career woman or a traditional wife, they have the options now. And what has happened is women are starting to convert right back to where they started, it feels like. Not saying all women were sex workers. What I'm saying is what they fought for and they said they wanted all this independence and they wanted to be free from us guys in some cases. They're going right back to being just another girl who just gets naked, right? 
Y'all see the bimbo trends happening on TikTok, right? Where women are wanting to become bimbos, bimbos, meaning they want to become a woman who doesn't want to, who doesn't inspire to be career driven. They don't want to get jobs like that. They just want to be mindless. They just want to look pretty, stay in shape and get a man. I thought that's what y'all didn't want. I thought this whole time you didn't want us to make you sex objects. Y'all didn't want us to treat you like your mindless bots who just want to look pretty and get money. But that is exactly what y'all are doing now. Not all women, but that's exactly what society has said that what they're saying that empowers women is exactly what they used to fight for that said that doesn't empower women. So they now have become right back to sex objects. Look at your Kim Kardashians. Look at your Beyonce's. Look at your Ice Spices. Look at your Nicki Minaj's, right? Look at all this stuff. Does that look like it's getting better? <laughs> no, women are just becoming more sexual than ever. And so what they fought to fight against what they fought the fight against, what they fought against, they are now, oh man, when I tell you guys, every time they talk about sexual freedom and I tell you guys the chains that you think you're taking off, you're actually putting right back on, it is the truth. These women think that they're taking off the shackles of, oh, I'm free for men, but they literally put themselves right back in chains when they decide to go into pornography. Because guess who runs pornography for the most part? Men. And guess who does a lot of sex trafficking for pornography? Men. And guess who does a lot of human trafficking for pornography? Men. You put yourself right back in the same chains that you've been trying to free yourself from. I do this out of the love for women, but some women don't want to see it. They really believe driving in a Ferrari is that important. I don't get it. It's always wild, man. All right, so y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Prostitution being legalized, decriminalized, do you think it actually helps women or do you think it actually hurts women? Y'all let me know what y'all think. See you in the next video.